If you are interested in taking different and non-traditional styled classes, then taking a course that uses Reacting to the Past may be just for you. We use Reacting to the Past in the first year ECG Honors Seminar. Uh, we use this elaborate role-playing pedagogy that was originally developed at Barnard College uh, back in the 1990s and is now being used all over the United States and also in other countries, in Europe and, and China and elsewhere. The method is basically um, students start a semester kind of traditionally in a seminar format, um, reading primary texts, trying to understand an historical period or crisis. But then at a certain point in the semester, the students are given um, role assignments of people who actually lived through that crisis and lived through those difficult times. So for example, uh, Greece in the time of Plato and Socrates. Uh, or Renaissance Italy. In this class, I play a guy called Luigi Scarlatti, and he's pretty much the money guy. So what I got to do is figure out a way to tax everybody and get all of them to agree to stuff like that. This time around, I'm in Machiavelli's Florence, and I was Pierre Guicciardini, but I recently just died, so now I'm Francesco Guicciardini, so I'm my son. So the first time around, I was a prior so I did authority figure stuff. So basically, we voted on things. We voted on executions of people. So my role is Niccolo Machiavelli, which is the actual name of the game. And my main goal, objective in the game, is to show the people of the council um, the great reforms that were brought about by Savonarola during his uh, term in office. And uh, many of the people of the council, they did not like Savonarola but they understood that his intentions were good with these reforms that he brought along. So I just would like to just keep the reforms happening and make sure that they live all the while keeping the peace amongst the council. Some students take to it instantly, uh, or a student who's done role-playing games, or a student who's just gregarious and likes to pretend and to engage with people in a lively way. That student's gonna take to it instantly. But not all students are, are there when they arrive at Cabrini. Some are shy. Some are introverted, uh, some are not comfortable with public speaking. The purpose of reacting, among other things, is to improve your public speaking and get you to be brave in articulating and defending a position. So the idea is that even the introverts, after a while, come around to it and discover that they have um, far more in the way of gifts than they thought they had. Um, he doesn't really do much commentary, which I like, until the end, and then he'll tell you like what you did, but I like that it's all student-run. I was so blown away by the experience. I learned so much from it. I believed in it so strongly. Uh, I wanted to bring it to Cabrini for a lot of reasons. I mean, I'd heard about it in the past and I'd always wanted to experiment with it. But what really pushed me um, was the idea that um, a flipped classroom ultimately is a good thing. When students take ownership of their own learning and when it's experiential learning, I think uh, they do better and they're more passionate about what they're learning. I like this course because you get to play a game and you don't sit there and just take notes. It's not lecture style. I also like that it's mostly run by students. Um, Dr. Wright only talks for the first two classes and then the rest is all us and then he just sits in the back and lets us play the game. It was a love for a style of learning that I had never encountered before in high school previously uh, and in many other co uh, courses in college too. I just, I felt like I got so much out of it. So I thought it would not only enliven the classroom for them, but also for me, because it would allow me to get past the sort of traditional lecture style class, which at the end of the day, nobody uh, wants to sit through all the time. I just love bringing my own personality to the game. I can be very no-nonsense, like in real life, so I like to bring that to the game. It makes me happy that I can be myself. Well, it, it's a really special form of scholarship, I think. Um, it, it, you need a lot of research to make it good. And when, when you get it good and the whole class gets it good, you really just experience something magical, I think.